Hello everyone, it's me Jenny and it's time for another tools tag game theme of Bob Doodly What's It. Um, and this is going to be a pretty tricky one to film because um, today there's some construction work going on in my house. Um, so towards my bedroom side of things, um, there isn't really a whole lot of access right now. So uh, given that the subject is Fortune of Solitude and your personal space is um, I can't really talk about that or show much of it at the moment, so I can talk, but I can't really show. So, um, going into this, uh, feel free to reference I did a Naked Truth on my space, as in my area, my room, um, and I'll put a link to that top of the description. Please go check out that video, um, and that will have a lot of references to things I talk about in this video. <laughs> so, there we go. Um, otherwise I don't have a chance to film, I'm going to Paris at the end of this week and I'm working continuously until then, so that's the best I can do and I'm sorry. On the bright side you get the traditional set that I used to film at for old old fashioned movie reviews, got the old bookcases back up, so yay. Anyway, without further ado, Fortru Fortress of Solitude. Um, I have no idea what I look like today, I haven't looked in the mirror all day, I probably look awful. Anyway, um, so even Superman had a favourite hideaway, number one, where is yours? Mine is my bedroom. Um, that's usually the place where I go to hide. Um, it's a nice little, you know, sleep, relax, chill out place. Um, what makes this place so special? Um, a lot of it is it's designed for me by me. Um, it's over the far side of the house, so it's it's pretty much as separate from the rest of the house as I can get um, from everyone else. So if I need, it's just me space. Like it's got an entire landing between me and anywhere else. Um, so I can pretty much hear if anyone's coming or going, um, and it's just like it's my little my little area, um, and yeah, it's just mine. I uh, changed the colour of the walls last year, so it was better for lighting for filming. Oddly enough, um, slash I wanted to make it something more mature and less pink, um, and uh, yeah, I just it's my it's my space. It's where all of my stuff lives. Um, and uh, I often go around the rest of the house and um, scavenge anything that is mine and make sure it gets put back into my room because I like to think if I were to depart from this main house, if I were to go to a different house, um, it would be weird to see how little of an impact it will make on the rest of the house. Like That's kind of like a weird little subconscious challenge I've had for years to see if I were to take everything I own out of the house, how much of it would actually impact every room except mine, um, and I don't think it would have much of an impact because basically my life exists in that one room. Um, show something that you've made that you're proud of. So, this is uh, the first time that we're going to have to reference my other video. If you go to that video there is a portrait of Keyleth from, um, in fact all the artwork on the wall I'm pretty proud of, but um, there is a portrait of Keyleth from um, Critical Role. Um, that I did, and I spent a lot of time on it, and it was the first artwork that I'd done in years and years and years, I think about seven years when I painted that, um, and it's digital painting which I was never that good at, and I'm just really proud of it, I'm really happy with how it turned out, I'm really happy with the overall design, the presentation, the colours, I just, it worked, um, and I haven't been able to recreate something that good since, um, so yeah, that's something that I'm proud of. Um, she was a favourite outfit and why do you love it? Um, so I just bought myself a new skirt for autumn, which I'm currently wearing, um, and my new cardigan for autumn, um, and I'm really really happy with them, they're like the comfiest things ever, they're so cushy, I haven't really got a favourite top to wear with them yet, um, and uh, I spilled a little bit of soup on my cardigan today, so it's, it's not great, it's got some little stains on the corner, um, but uh, <laughs> There we go, I will do a little turnaround for you because I really like this outfit. It's really, it's just super duper comfortable um, and it makes me feel pretty. Oh, also, pockets in both the cardigan and the skirts. So good. Okay, here we go. There we go. It's just so comfy. So, question number five, five, um, show us the treasure knickknack. I can't really, because as I said, there's not a whole lot of access to my bedroom right now, 
Um, again, there's probably some in that Naked Truth. Go check that out. Sorry to cross promote my videos, but it's the easiest way to <laughs> solve this current problem if I need to keep my schedule, which I kind of do. Um, so, yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> there's probably a couple of things in there. I think I went through a couple of my teddy bears and stuff like that. Um, my next tag might also feature some of this theme, so there we go. Check out that tag when it comes out. Um, okay. Um, I also think there's a Naked Truth on China Elephants. I think it might be, I think it might be unlisted. I might it might be on my Naked Truth playlist. Um, but yeah, maybe maybe look up. I think it was one of my first or second Naked Truths um, featuring China Elephants. So yeah, check that out if you want to look up something I don't usually talk about. Um, what is your favourite book and why? My favourite book. Um, I've got a lot of favourite series, but my favourite book and one that I probably read the most is Our Mutual Friend by Charles Dickens. It is literally that thick, <laughs> um, intense writing. Um, and I don't know why I love it so much. I think it's, like, it's a very, very good character piece. It's quite dark. Um, there's a lot of stuff I don't like in it, like the, um, uh, the relationship between, um, there's a relationship in there which, given because of some secrets, gets a bit twisted towards the end, and then once the reveal happens, it's a little bit too little too late. Um, but the rest of it's just there's so there's so many compelling like the villains are so compelling. There's so many truly dastardly villains and so many truly um, and utterly um, heartbreaking villains who. If the plot had just gone a different way, they would have been the heroes of the story. Um, and in fact, one of the primary heroes, Eugene, he is so borderline to being a villain continuously. Um, and because of those very, very subtle character shifts, actually, it really does kind of throw this sort of complexity of the human spirit into it. And it's one of those books that I don't know why I love it so much, but I will always get to the end and want to start from the beginning again. I, every single time, uh, which is probably the reason why I've read it about six times, because um, every single time I get to the end of it and I'm like, oh, but I want to see where the characters started from again, because so much happened in the book, so many characters progress in quite extreme ways, um, that I always get to the end and I'm like, I wanted to start all over again, I just want to do that. Um, but there we go. Um, I also like um, Jenny Wren, the character of Jenny Wren, not to be egotistical, she is a fantastic little firecracker of a character who is one of the, probably the most strong-willed female characters in a book. She is a survivor um, and she's a survivor with sass um, who gets a happy ending and that's just great. Um, I do also love there's a lot of other series that I really really enjoy but um, that's probably the book that I've read the most and again every time I get to the end I want to start rereading it again. Um, do, 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 what food do you have an emotional connection with? Um, this is odd one. Um, I don't really have that many foods that I really like trigger emotions. I think um, Earl Grey tea and brioche remind me of my first holiday where um, my sister and I, we went without our older sister, it was me, my twin sister and our parents, um, and it was the first holiday where usually up until that point the parents had been very like, we're going to do family activities, we are telling you to do this, we are doing this, you are doing it with us, and this was the first holiday where we were 16. Um, and the parents said, you know, we'll do our thing, you do your thing. If that is staying in the, like, apartment that we've rented the entire time, um, then so be it. Um, if you want, if what you want to do on your holiday is revise and get through some stuff that's going on at the moment, then that is absolutely fine. We paid for you to come to this place. If you don't want to explore it, that's fine. If you want to come down to the beach, that's fine. If you want to go up in the mountains, that's fine. If you want to stay and just, you do you then that's a thing. And so every time I drink, um, they didn't have any uh, normal tea, so I drank a lot of Earl Grey tea. So for a while, the taste of Earl Grey tea reminded me of that little holiday. It was to Madeira. Um, and there was a lot of, some very bad stuff going on at the time. Um, and that was the first holiday where, you know, we were allowed our little, a little, a little for, for, well, fortress of solitude for me and my sister for that holiday, where we were allowed to just do our own thing. Um, and it was mostly revision, um, but there was also a lot of, you know, just sorting ourselves out in a 
kind of peaceful new environment. Um, so yeah, that worked, I guess. I hope. Um, other than that, yeah, Earl Grey tea, tea and chocolate chip brew off, that reminds me of that holiday. Um, I don't really have that many, like, specific things. Like, chalk ices remind me of my grandma. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, lint, like lint chocolate, like the lint chocolate balls with like the softer chocolate on the inside and the a hard shell on the outside. Um, that always reminds me of Christmas. Um, that's just a thing. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it. I think that covers that question, hopefully. Um, da -da -da -da. Have you ever sh written a short story, song, poem, comic or other thing that you're willing to share? Um, I used to write a lot of poetry when I was a teenager and none of it was good. Um, I've been, I don't, I don't know, I have a copy down here. Um, there was a writing program that I did when I was 17, 18, um, where eventually we wrote two short stories. Well, we, we had the opportunity to write a short story and that would be published and I was over ambitious and wrote two when they were both published in a little book. Um, I don't think we have a copy down here or else I would show it. Um, but yeah, I, I wrote two stories. Uh, one was a um, very uh, kind of poetic um, story about children seeing a whale um, and like just watching a whale um, splash up above the surface of the water um, on a cliffside and then running back um, to tell their parents. Um, and then there was another story that I wrote which was like a, a horror story-ish about uh, walking down like a, a manor house corridor um, and um, finding a secret passage um, which was meant to try and invoke my kind of sometimes scared of the dark thing that I occasionally get um, so that, that was meant to be invoking of that but I don't think I have copies of those um, and I used to, I, I think I wrote a couple of poems when I was um, you know, slightly later. I haven't really written that much lately. Most of my writing goes into D&D &D campaigns. I'm in the middle of writing um, a horror D&D &D one-shot, which I'm really excited about, and it's really kind of freaking me out. Like, thinking about the stuff that I've got to think about in order to form something that's creepy is creeping me out a lot, so I don't know whether or not... At, at the moment I feel like there's a gif that I found on uh, Twitter, which is um, something scary in 3, 2, 1, and then it says teeny tiny ghost going, yo! Um, and I kind of feel like that's how my scary stories might come off, but to me, they terrify me, so I don't know whether or not they'll come off well. A lot of my writing goes into that, so I've talked about my D&D campaigns in other videos, so if you want to find out about those story ideas, there's that. Um, let's see, there was a poem, sorry, for a quick short segment, there was a poem that I wrote a couple of years ago, um, which was semi-made up, semi-biographical, um, about um, summertime because it was for a, like a, 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 a summer themed poem competition um, on a forum um, and I really liked that one because I put in a lot of effort into making sure it had a lot of different like rhyming and um, syllable patterns um, and it's the reason why I can remember it still um, so I will reel that off for the sake of it <sighs> when thinking of those summer days, or sun hat, sun cream, water's waves, I always find my mind inclined to blur them into one sunny haze. I remember, however, translucently, puddles, patches, sulking sea, and there we stand, us hand in hand, my white-haired grandma and little me. On the coldest summer night, we built a bonfire burning bright, just her and me, us by, by the sea, roasting marshmallows by moonlight. There we go. I still remember it because I've heard a lot of effort. I think I'm one or two of those words. I think it's melting marshmallows by moonlight because it's all of the alliteration. Um, but there we go. I wrote that. semi autobiographical semi not. Uh, my grandma did used to live by the sea and we did use to light fires, but I don't think we ever did it at night. Um, da -da 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 -da. Anything you like, else you'd like to share? And just anything that makes you feel glad? It's been a weird day today, um, so I'm glad I am able to do some form of video, even if it's not particularly good at the moment. There we go. Um, also, glad Halloween's coming up. Um, I'm looking forward to that. 
and yeah lots of little things that are coming up in the next couple of weeks that I'm really excited about but I really don't have the energy to be like yes I just have the ah, that'll be good let's just get there mentality right now um so for the next tag um on a similar sort of theme because it's something I was thinking about um so question number one um do you have any like formal outfits or like um, fancy dancy clothes or costumes or anything that you have... I missed out a cosplay thing, didn't I? What, show us your favourite costume or cosplay. Um, picture! There we go, that's exciting. In fact, most of my cosplays I kind of think of the same thing. I really, really, really do like my Laura cosplay, which picture but really shitty pictures unfortunately I really do need to take some better pictures of my Laura cosplay um, but there we go sorry I missed that ad going back to my tags for you <laughs> this is gonna be so weird to edit anyway going back to my stories for you are there any like formal clothes that you don't get a chance to wear and want to show off slash would you be willing to do a fashion montage um, favourite shoes would you be willing to show off and would you be willing to do a montage um, and uh, favourite jewellery that you sometimes wear sometimes you don't wear do you have any matching sets you're like oh so cool and willing to do a montage um, basically I went through my wardrobe the other day and I was like I have all of these formal dresses that I never get the chance to wear so if you want to do that that's my tag it's basically the, the formal wear tag um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Any fancy hair accessories that you never really get the chance to wear. Um, and basically it's a, a chance to dress up and do a fashion montage. I know it's a, quite a lot of effort, but it should be fun. And that's my tag because that's what I've been thinking about would be a fun video to do. So there we go. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to comment. Sorry this is such a jumbly mess and a weird version of this video. Um, feel free to check out the link tomorrow uh, in the description in order to actually get an idea for some of the stuff I was talking about in this video. I'm sorry I cannot do more. I literally just don't have access to the things I need to talk about and this will be the only day that I have a chance to film. So there we go. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to comment. I'm sorry this is not such a good video um, and I'll see you guys all when I do. Bye for now. I'm so tired.